happen here. But level two means that uh, the window of opportunity is rather small. Shionix making his way down bottom, so the oh, musical gee. lanes have managed to develop. Oh, but never mind, jumping down. Jinxed him. Level two slaughter does indeed have some use. That's also with the help of a um, skill point as well. Maybe needs the extra point for laser kills and stuff. But now they're gonna roam in and look for the freeze. The stampede gives them the extra burst. The speed, the laser comes out, and it's gonna be enough. The soul claimed there by the Shadow Fiend. Nova, a little late to the party, but level three. Afu coming in for a backstab in this top lane. Yeah, it's a raindrop. Yep. Just gonna make things a little hard here. Oh, Afu gonna get crushed. There's the Chakram. Draining his strength once again, but his health is down low enough that the Chakram is going to prove to be a problem. So he throws out a double edge just to do enough spike damage to this Slaughter, and they will get a one-on-one uh, -on -one carry action there. But... He's not going to be un unattended, will we, Nana? Because look at this party heading in towards the middle lane. Now, everyone's been ganking Nana all day, and there's Stampede. That's a round two. Deja Vu rolls in, tries to block the CM, but it's not going to be enough. It's to kick a rock in his face. Afu going to collect that one as he TVs in as well. So... Stopped him right in his tracks, and Geek Fam claimed Tinker again, but he has already got his travels and didn't really lose any gold. Top 18 lane. seconds of farm time. Hello. Being chased by Arjit and X Nova, but it looks like they've given off the chase. Missile? No, they haven't. They have a they have the yeah. He's got TP. I think oh. TP cost him his life. He could have ran, I think. I believe so as well. Unless yeah, there is nothing. Run. Oh, they see a kill on a terribly an option here. The, the Crystal Maiden is going to find an opportunity, but no, oh, the roll in perfect 80% slow, very strong. We're gonna have to freeze him in time, prevent that thunder from coming out, and Crystal Nova blows him sky high. No chance for that life swap. And uh, is that Blink Dagger, so it's the Slaughter. Both of them at the almost the same amount of gold, so it's gonna be more of an arms race here. Who gets the dagger first and who actually unleashes it on the enemy? So at this point, it's just waiting uh -oh, for... Oh, Rocky getting oh. the slaughter. So that's going to be him slowed well, down. It wasn't go. even an Omni Slash, and now they have that one to commit. Oh, a big Crystal Maid and ulti. Oh, x yeah, in the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, this guy a little bit late to the party, but maybe not the Tinker. He's going to land in some fire, but the Crystal Nova will ensure that Nova is slow enough to get chopped down. Turns around for that magic missile, but the spin is just enough to finish him off. And now Nana fun yeah more fun indeed and uh, speaking of fun we have a uh, Tihi and his gang smoked up shadow blade as well Tihi has broke smoke nova is scouted out immediately jumping in with his brand new blink dagger the terribly torn to shreds no chance for a swap again the requiem and the crystal nova crystal made an ultimate just doing so much damage aero denial all the way nova inching into that blizzard and immediately getting frosted up and taken out by that shadow fiend three heroes down and a tier one push gone wrong Oh man, look at the gold as well. Another 1k gold into the pockets of Geek Fam and guess who they were looking for the easier towers to take down. T2 territory, they're not quite ready for that as of yet. I think they just wanted to open the map up, make their heroes feel comfortable and say, okay, there's never going to be a oh, forward TP. Jumping in, trying to get a solo kill Rocky with a blink dagger. So early in the game, blowing his entire Rampart Rocky. stack there and takes out the Tinker solo. This is why I love oh. this guy. But unfortunately, he TPs a little bit too close in full sight of Afu and who also has a blink dagger. So... But, you know, a support uh, spirit trading his life with a core tinker. Definitely what you want. Timber saw going down elsewhere on the map as well. To shine. Definitely. You shouldn't got to get destroyed. And I think that it smells mighty suspicious. Here we and go. And Afu immediately jumping right in. The wave of terror is there. But the Crystal Nova stops things. And that immediately gets chained up by a centaur. Stop Afu. Now panic mode. Activate. There's um, this Luna. The Luna well. trying to run away. Look at the Cortex. Gets like a follow-up swipe there from Shionic. Oh. They lose their centaur, but that is damage done enough. The Slaughter buying back into the game, recognizing the importance of winning this team fight. Crystal made it probably going to get smacked down here. Yeah, well, will be the kill, but a big, big Requiem here from Tihi will be his dying breath as he takes out the Slaughter, who just bought back into the game, but I think this guy is insane. Right, oh, he kicks in and okay. He stalls it up a little bit. There's a Crystal Nova. Is there an ultimate from the CM? Yes, she is going to deploy that ultimate. Is there going to be a steal? The Aegis was not stolen. So the Terrorblade does get it. They lose their TV. Nova is still in there. He does swap out his TV just to be sure. 170 seconds. That's just asking for you to go for the, what was it, the old school Dagon build. Hey, that, that, that's fun, eh? Rocky found the Tinker! Hello, Aghanim Scepter, will it be enough? But Afu with the life-saving crush, and now we have the Vengeful Spirit bailing out by Crystal Maiden saying, I hate you, Tinker! 
And Arjit here to the fight takes out Velo as well as a Shadow Fiend. So a good turn of events here for uh, Bazaar. They lose their Tinker, they lose their event. Tower shots. He's just standing there with the tower aggro. So, oh, they so see easy. him though, and the Omni Slash might be committed here. And immediately, Rocky running in with a three man stone. What happened to Slaughter? Where did he go? The defensive swap coming out. Now Archer swaps lives and pops that BKB. Time to go ham. Take names, he says. T he resisting the damage for now. Has that frost armor on him, but he's getting slowed. He's running. He has no way out. There's a triple kill for Nana. Four men down. And uh, we thought Rocky had a great start, but it did not burst the Arjun's terror blade in time. This and, is. Uh, this is it's going to be huge. Shonix, oh, your they're round. going in. There. Here's the Yule Scepter. Stare, blink away. The Chakram is there. He deploys that ultimate right away. And Arjit now dropping very low. Has the Sunder. He swaps with that Shadow Beam. T. He has to run away with that Silver Edge. They use the Shrine to keep themselves alive. And Arjit now losing his life. Rodgy is hexed up by that Tinker. A fresh new Cypher Vice there. Getting the kill and they die back on that Earth Spirit Centaur. Buying back into the game. Sees low health targets. Really wants to go for it. Finds Nova. That's a double edge. That's a nice kill. The gem reclaimed. But Slada not about to give that one up just yet. And they are expending a lot of buybacks, Geek Fam. And they will lose another hero We're waiting for that team fight recap. But I think that is a huge economic turnover here. Bazaar is definitely going to enjoy that one, especially with the follow-up ages about to come. Kind of surprised they actually went straight into Rage. Maybe they're thinking that there are some extra buybacks on the side of Geek Fam. Yeah. Looking at the death timers, if they knew that there were no buybacks, I would have seen them possibly just run down. I was melting. Oh, a hex and a swap out. Whoa, perfect combination. But Shionix will be bailed out for now. Rocky going to deploy his ultimate, but resisted by a lot of BKBs. Afu, terribly, just to name a few. But that is not the best BKB usage. So now he's going to be susceptible to burst and chase. Oh, look at by Rocky, the lasers, though. Tihi killing himself. The Timbersaw will fall. That's a raise to be remembered. Arjit. Still has the Aegis, Butterfly, and pretty much full health. The Crystal Mater has used her ultimate. Slaughter jumping back in. Now Arjun says, I am a Mega Demon. Takes out the Centaur in three good swipes, and now brings out his friends. Nukes down the melee racks, and I'm not sure Geek Fam is on. Yeah. Like, we even saw oh. the Omni Slash just now tickled them. It did literally no damage to anyone on Team Bazaar. Shonex going in for the Hail Mary play there, getting piled on by the Snowball. Snowball Barrage here from Arjit, and he gets blown up. That's a godlike streak for Nana, and I think that might have be. been the last throw there. Geek Fam are going to be tapping out of this game any moment now. The Slaughter dropping low. They're not giving up just yet. Oh, the Sunder, a little bit of a mishap. Almost killing off the Terrible, but he just really wants to use his Aegis, and I think that might have been a BM Sunder now on hindsight. But Afu takes out the last remaining hero, leaving only CM to... Oh, barricade herself in the fountain. Nope, no mercy for the weak. And uh, they'll blow her up as well. So Nana... Well, I don't know. Just uh, really stepping up. First half of the day, shaky performance, and then he just steps up to the plate. And, it's like, uh, forces it's out like, GG it's like the good cheese. They just matured as the day went on. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, the GG. terrible pick paying off for them. A well, lot of siege damage that could come out, coupled with the stalling the Tinker offers. Gotta say the Geek Fam, because we don't normally...